Hi, my name is Jen. Welcome to Stainless Steel. Hopefully you do have a pole, a towel, and water. You must and should subscribe to Rec Production. Rec, excuse me, Rec Production. Let's get started. One of the preconceived notions about pole dancing is that you need all this upper body in the beginning. And that is true. In the future, you're gonna build on that and upper body is gonna come into play. But in this level, I have to program you and how to use your legs. So your legs now are gonna work like your hands and your arms, okay? That's a little foreign because our arms and our hands do all the lifting and grabbing. But with pole, our legs have that function. Pole dancing is a total body workout. There's no leg day like the gym or an arm day. It's an everything day. Just keep that in mind as well when you're pole dancing. Tomorrow, you probably will experience some sort of soreness. Don't worry, it's not that you didn't do anything right or you're out of shape. It's just new to your body and you're just getting used to it. We're gonna start with the warm up now. I like to warm up pretty fully clothed because I like to maximize the heat so my body is super warm. You don't have to do that. You could put your shorts on right now and sports bras if that's what you wanna do. But for me, I like to be totally warm and really get super warm within my body. That's why I like to uh, put on a sweatshirt and some leggings. And as we go through the lesson, I'll start peeling it off. And so probably you will, or you'll have everything set for yourself. If you have a yoga mat, we're gonna come into a cross-legged sit. And I want you to inhale, exhale. Bring your right ear to your right shoulder. And left to your left, right to your right. Left to your left, right to your right. And head circles. And then let's go in the opposite direction. All right, guys, from here, unfold your legs, toes touch the ground, bring your hands behind your back, and you're gonna rock from side to side. Awesome sauce. Good. And I'm gonna try to stay in this circle. You don't have to try to stay inside of a circle. Um, so just keep that in mind. And then from here, we're gonna roll it over. You're gonna scooch down to your heels and lay on your back. You're gonna bring your knees to your chest and rock from side to side. From here, you're gonna extend your left leg out, right knee in towards your chest and hold it for a couple seconds. Awesome, and then I want you to peel your right leg up and point your toes and flex your foot. Point your toes and flex your foot. Rotate your ankles and then go in the opposite direction. Good job, and release. Other knee in towards your chest and hold it for a couple seconds. Peel your left leg up, point your toes and flex your foot. Rotate your ankles and go in the opposite direction when you're ready. Awesome, bring both legs up, hands on your chest. I like to go in for some toe touches. Reach up and lift yourself up like if you were gonna sit up for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. And rock from side to side. Awesome, guys. Now from here, a little cardio. You're gonna lift up, jump up onto your toes, and come right back down. If that's too much, just try to lift your booty off the ground. Either one works for me. Lift it up, or simply come up and just try to get up. Either one works for me. Just want to get these heartbeats going. We're going to go for two more. And last one. Either one works for me. You're going to turn around, come on all fours, and we're going to come into a cat cow, round out the spine, pop the booty up. Round out the spine, pop the booty up. Round out the spine, and pop the booty up. Awesome. From here, sit on your heels. I like to do this. I do suffer from golfer's elbow. I don't play golf, but I do. Um, and then I'm gonna reverse my wrist and gently go forward and back. You're gonna interlace your fingers, rotate your wrist, and go in the opposite direction. I like to reverse the palms up to the ceiling, squeeze my shoulder blades together, and breathe in and breathe out. Okay guys, from here, we're gonna go into a downward dog and then place your hands flat on the floor, heels down. 
This is working that flexibility. You may not think so, but you are. These hammies are waking up, right? Now from here, what I want you to do, watch me first. Your hands are flat on the floor. You're going to dive in head first, graze the ground with your chest, and lift it up, your hips, OK? We're going to go for four of those. I'm being nice to you today. Head first. But typically, we go for 10 of these, all right? But you can practice these at home. That'll get you strong, I promise. Head first, dive in, and lift it up. Two more. Head first, bend those arms, chest raises the floor, and lift it up. One more time. Head, chest, belly, and lift it up. You're gonna drop to your knees and come into a child's pose. You guys hear me, right? All right, and from here, needle and thread. And then switch it out to the other side. Okay, guys, more upper body practice. Um, from here, we're gonna go in for a sexy dive in, right? So hands out in front of you, booty in the air. I want your elbows to bend. I don't, not a big fan of form. I like elbows in the air and push. But if you do forearm, I'm not gonna kill you today, but I'm not a fan, all right? Chest to the floor, elbows to your side. Yes, this is difficult, but it's gonna build upper body. Lift up that booty, push from your arms and come up. Okay, these are really good to start getting those chest muscles that us women don't like to use, that we have. All right, elbows bent, dive in, and push. Drop to your chest, lift up through your butt. Yes, two more, dive in. Drop to your chest, lift up through your bum. One more time, dive in, push against the floor. Drop to your chest. What I want to see first is your booty get up. Lift. Yes. Good job, guys. From here, tuck your toes into the ground again. And now I'm going to do a little stretching. You're going to open up your left hip. All right, by lifting up that left knee leg. And give me five butt kickers. Five, four, three, two, and one. You're going to swing your legs to center. And make sure your knee stacks up above your ankle. Pulse it forward and back for five. And then let's go up and down. Now you might not like this for your knees, so if you wanna wear knee pads, you can. A lot of people will need knee pads when they first start doing pull, and I'll explain that in a little bit. But you're gonna grab that foot and hold. Try to keep that knee out facing forward. And then I like to go into a runner stretch here. Now when I'm in my runner stretch, I don't like sitting down. I don't like seeing my students doing that. Flex your foot, ass up, chest to the thigh. Awesome. And then from here, I don't like switching. No, no, no. What I want you to do here is push forward and go to the other side and do the other side as well. And then go up and down. Drop your knee to the floor. Reach with the opposite hand. And remember, some of us might not be able to catch our foot. That's okay. Just do the motion. Do the motion. Eventually, it'll happen. Some of us might feel Charlie horses. It's normal. And then from here, come into your runner stretch. Awesome, guys. And then from here, just lift yourselves up. 